Hey guys, what's up? It's another JRob447 video back at it again. And today we do have some NBA 2K14 My GM. And I'm showing you my roster because I now acquired Channing Fry. I traded him for Andrea Bargani. And he will be starting this game. I just want to see what I can get out of him. And we're going to be playing against the Suns, that the team that we traded for. And we traded with the Suns twice because Reggie Bullock would have been on our team. And Andrea Bargani, we traded him as well. So. Anyway, I also want to talk about how the Knicks in real life might actually try to be getting, um, uh, what's his name again, Reggie Bullock. They might be wanting to get him in a trade because the Knicks, they have not been really doing well this season in real life. And it's kind of upsetting to me because I'm a Knicks fan myself. That's why I picked this team to be the GM of. I was hoping that I could turn this team around. And with players like that, DeAndre Jordan, you know, it gives us a bright future, all right? It gives us a, a bright future. And that's Andrea Bargnani. I mean, yeah, his jump shot's nice and all, but his contract is a lot. And I was basically did that move just so I could, like, get Melo in the offseason because I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to sign Melo in the offseason because I really want to keep Melo on this team. But if worse comes to worse, then I might have to pick up somebody in the offseason, maybe try to get pursue um Tobias Harris in some kind of trade or draft a... Draft a small four. Quincy Miller, he is good, but he is not good enough as a starter. So, I mean, if worse comes to worse, I might have to draft a small forward and try to get somebody. Or I might play small ball with three guards and a power forward in the center. And no true small forward unless Quincy Miller comes off the bench. We could do that because we do have some big guards on our team like Michael Carter-Williams, Victor Oladipo, Reggie Jackson. Put those three or Tim Hardaway, switch him out for Reggie Jackson, and then... You know, that'd be a good lineup, I guess. And then, you know, we could have Amari and then DeAndre Jordan. But, you know, it's it's, it's hard to work this thing out right now. Hopefully, Amari Stoudemire is not looking for a lot of money. I mean, that's why I basically traded. I didn't trade, but I got rid of Metal World Peace. I released him because I couldn't have him on a team. I just couldn't. His payroll was way too much. So, anyway, what else I want to talk about is that I've hit an all-time low. I've hit an all-time low because I... Have been now watching. I've almost finished the second season of Pretty Little Liars. Yes. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I was bored out of my mind on Netflix. I just wa finished watching the movie Fun Size. I thought it would be good. And that's Quincy Miller knocking down a three. And I said, why not watch Pretty Little Liars? So I watched the first episode. And I was like, dang. I'm going to keep on watching. So I kept on watching. And that's Reggie Miller with the dunk. Not Reggie Miller. God dang it. Quincy Miller. But anyway. I'm up to um, episode 10 in season 2. Basically, I'm trying to finish it because I just want to see what's going to happen. It's crazy. I, I don't know how I got hooked on this thing, but now I can't stop watching it. And it's consuming too much of my time, but it's funny. It's crazy how I have no school this week, so now I can just finish watching this series. And no worries at all. But anyway, that's Timmy nagging down a 3. And yeah. So if you do watch Pretty Little Liars, you know, that's what's up if you don't. Please don't watch it because it will consume your time. I'm dead serious. Mark Stoudemire cannot get the buzzer to go. As the first quarter comes to an end, we are now, we're up by three. I believe we are up by three. And Reggie Jackson, I just can't wait till Michael Carter-Williams comes back. I hope Reggie Jackson doesn't take that the wrong way because Reggie Jackson, it's a good point guard. And, you know, he just always produces in the fourth quarter. That, that's what he is. He's a fourth quarter point guard like this guy knows how to produce in the fourth quarter and maybe we could go small maybe take DJ out the game or Amari out the game put Carmelo at the four put Timmy in the game Timmy is at the three uh Reggie's at the one and Michael Carter Williams is at the two or we could put Oladipo in the game because of his defense it's hard to work out these lineups because you got guys that deserve it and you just don't know. I mean, Oladipo could easily go off for 20 if he wanted to. His his three-point rating is actually better than Tim Hardaway's. It's just that Hardaway is more of a three-point specialist. And Mike, Malcolm Lee, you know, he's a great coming off the bench too because he can do that. He just crossed them out of his shoes. And I know y'all saw that block by Melo. That was Illmatic right there. And we're going up the court. I was about to throw an alley, but, uh, you know, I'm still working out the kinks. Still working out the kinks. And that's Melo for you just... He's just babying him. He's babying him. That's what Melo does. Anyway, Bargani with the ball. Dang. He's making me regret. He's going to try to make me regret trading him 
And you know, it's it's not gonna work, Bargiani. I I can't regret I can't regret that. I had to get rid of you. I gotta make some cap space. So anyway, that's Malcolm Lee with the jump shot. Malcolm Lee just comes in and produces. That's what I like about him. He doesn't whine or cry. Neither does Kenyon Martin. So that's why I like I wanna keep Kenyon Martin on my team. He plays defense, you know, gets boards, runs runs the floor like he's supposed to. That's why I like Kmart on his team. And hopefully I could keep him too. And that's Timmy knocking down another three. And Timmy, he is so inconsistent. He's turning into a JR. He is turning into a JR because one game he'll go for 30. Another game he'll go one for 10. And that's what he's doing in real life. Like, in the past few games, he has been not knocking down his threes like he was expected to. So, you know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But, you know, it's whatever. And as you can see, we do not have Prigioni game. So, that means Oladipo is actually playing the point guard spot. And I have no problem with that. Because in Orlando, he does play a little of a point guard spot. You know. So, I like that. And I just like Orlando as a team. I liked them last year because, you know, Tobias Harris and all. He he was on that team, and that's why I did an association with them. You know, I wish I could have continued it, but it's whatever. Honestly, it's whatever. And I do like big point guards. That's why I got Michael Carter-Williams this year and Grievous Vasquez last year because bigger point guards, it's easier to dominate. And that is Timmy getting a layup. Just, oh, God, Timmy is a beast. Timmy is a beast. We got to keep him on his team. So, anyway... I believe it is the third, the second quarter that will be coming to an end as Channing Fry bricks the three. But that is okay because we get the ball back. Prigioni, I think that was him with the ball. No, that was Jeremy Tyler. Anyway, the quarter comes to an end. And we're leading by nine as we go into halftime. And we couldn't have asked for more in this game. Malcolm Lee's clapping it up. You know, UCLA grad. And now we're back into the third quarter with about seven-something left in the quarter, in the third quarter, as you guys notice right now. But we give it to um, Victor Oladipo with a nice pocket pass. That pass was beautiful. And Oladipo, I, I just like his game. He gets to points where he can get it. He's throwing alleys. He, he's a complete player. That's why I like Oladipo. He's a complete player. I don't think you can necessarily build your team around him, but he is definitely a contributor, and that's Amari. I mean, Reggie Jackson just sets up plays, and... I, when Michael Carter Williams comes back, I don't know if I should start him right away because Reggie Jackson is doing so good and I don't want to kill his vibe because he's a really good point guard and, you know, you can't just get these guys out of the blue. I mean, some guys might question my trade, op, my trades that I did, but hey, I'm doing this for the best of my team, so you, I, I just don't know what to do right now. If Michael Carter Williams comes back... I might have to start him and might have to take Reggie Jackson off the bench. But get him some ample minutes, all right? Take minutes from Prigioni. Anyway, Mari missed the first layup. But, you know, persistence pays as the big man gets his buckets where he can get it. That sounded kind of sus because Chris Bosh said that one time. He was like, I'm a big guy, so I got to get it where big guys get it. Tell me that doesn't sound gay as hell. But anyway, Carmelo, you know, getting them offensive boards. He's getting amped and... Yeah, hopefully he stays in New York next year. And now, oh, Malcolm Lee, why'd you second guess? Drain that three if you want to. That's my boy, Malcolm Lee. That's who we acquired from the Suns. And he's really putting in work for us. And, oh, I thought I could fit that pass in. Prigioni. I just love Prigioni's awareness in this game. He is, he's always around the ball. He doesn't to do a lot. But he does enough to, like, change a game. He's hardworking. He passes the ball. He's got a great three-point shot. He can create his own shot if he wants to, like he just did. And that's why I like Prigioni on his team. He, it doesn't matter if he doesn't get a lot of points. He just goes out there and produces. He's like Malcolm Lee, like Quincy Miller. And, yeah. Anyway, Timmy, why not let it fly? Why not let that fly? Also, Commentator's March Madness is coming up. I'm talking about a lot in this video, so you guys need to catch up, watch the whole thing. Commentator's March Madness is coming up, and I'm awaiting my message to see if I got selected. If I get selected, I will rejoice, and if I ever, I might put out an episode for that contest, so if you guys actually want to watch the video, I'm going to send you a video with a link in the description to actually watch that video, because I don't want to, I want you guys to be left out the mix, because you guys are my my fans and I owe it to all of you guys so I'm just doing it out, out of the goodness of my heart but anyway Channing Fry he's getting guarded by Bargiani Bargiani couldn't stand a chance Bargiani come on man come on man and that is Prigioni with the jump shot 
Prigioni. And this year, Prigioni's actually finding his jump shot. He's actually shooting the ball, unlike last year. It's now Iman Shumper who's got the cold feet. Because Iman Shumper wouldn't shoot the ball even. I, I just don't. I just dislike it. And that's um Quincy Miller again. You know, he's got a lot of upside. But the thing about having these young players is if they get really good, they're going to start asking to become starters and asking for more money. And then... What the hell am I going to do? Like, I know Kenya Martin's gone. He He's going to retire soon. Prigioni's old as well. So, it's basically, yeah, I have all young guys left. That's I got rid of Meta World Peace, got rid of Bargiani, got rid of Udri. So, basically, I got a lot of young guns on this team. So, obviously, a lot of people are going to be asking me for money. So, it's going to be hard to figure that out. Maybe if we win a championship and actually draft another small forward, it might upset Carmelo, but hey, he won a championship, he did what he was supposed to do, and that's exactly what he's supposed to do, bring a championship back to New York, and get your ass out of here, because we don't need your ass no more, but nah, I, I wouldn't do that to Carmelo, so it's going to be hard, maybe if Michael Carter Williams comes out and shows me that he's really good, I might just have to get rid of Reggie Jackson, and get, get somebody for him, alright, I'm sorry, that's what I have to do. I mean, Reggie Jackson, he's good in the clutch. He just got that assist right there. And as you can see, he's running up the floor. Nobody can keep up to him. And that's Melo with the jump shot. You already know Melo can make jump shots like that. He's hearing it from the crowd. The crowd loves it. They're enjoying it. And this game might come down to the wire, but I don't know who that was that shot that layup. But anyway, that is Victor Oladipo with the ball right now. Oh, he just crossed up his defender. Give it to DJ. DJ's been doing so well this game. He is so raw offensively, but hopefully we can develop him into a pure uh, center. And that was Reggie Jackson with another layup. Reggie Jackson, he knows how to drive. He gets all of his contact layups to go in. That's why I love him on the team. But Red, uh, Gerald Green, he's having a hell of a game this game too. And oh my God, Reggie Jackson, speaking of the devil. Reggie Jackson is beasting, and Amari's tight because he's he's not, you know, we're going small. We're going small right now, so DJ is our center right now because DJ, he's injured, and, yeah, I don't want to, uh, he's still hurt, so I don't want to, like, use him too much. But anyway, we're going to go on and win this game, and thank you guys for watching. Uh, Melo, he didn't have the best of nights, but Timmy J put in work, not Timmy, Timmy Jr. put in work, but anyway, this has been another J-Rod video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace, I'm out!